Hello, Matthew Williams here with a quick video to tell you how to save your camera batteries if you've got a camcorder. I've got a nice little uh, Sony camcorder which I like to use, which is a HDV. It's this one here. And uh, basically, they come with these nice little batteries. They're quite small and they do last for hundreds of minutes, you know, like 200 minutes, like this Info Lithium by Sony. Hang on. Let me just focus this in so you can see. It's an Info Lithium. Now, Sony batteries that are infolithium, like this one, like an infolithium P, uh, is, and there we are, can you see it on there? 7.2 volts, 7.2 watt hours, lithium ion, NP FP60. Okay, so these batteries are quite intelligent because what they have is a little sensor circuit inside them, and uh, that feeds back to the camera so it can instantly tell it how much battery life it's got left. Now the chargers which come with these cameras, uh, this one happens to plug directly into the camera so you charge the battery on the camera. Now what happens after a while is these batteries start misreporting back to the charger or back to the camera and they just won't charge. So basically they run down and that's it. The only way you can use the camera is on the charger or to buy a new battery. Now I, I've had that happen with a battery that's less than a year old and I know that it's happened twice on this particular camera so of course you think well dead battery have to throw it away no there is a way there's a way around it okay and it's quite simple what you do is you don't use the intelligent charge system on the camera and you don't use the charger that comes with it what you do is you buy one of these cheap 20 quid chargers that you can buy on eBay and here it is it looks like this so take a good look can you see what it looks like Okay, and it's got a little power cord adapter there, and it'll even plug in with a cigarette lighter, so you can plug it into uh, cigarette 12 or 24 volts, and it'll plug into your cigarette lighter in the car, and it'll charge in the car, so even better. Now, the specs on the back, I'll just give you the specs so you can read what it looks like. Video digital tra camera travel charger, 100 to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz. So that means you can use it in any country in the world. It will automatically select the power. You just plug it in and off you go. And it outputs. This one happens to output 8.4 volts, 600 milliamps. Depending on which camera you have, it'll output different voltages and different milliamps. But this one is designed to fit the um, NPs and FPs. So it says fits the NP. Uh, sorry, the FP50, 70, FP90, and FH70. So basically, this bit here will change. These units look, a lot of the time, they look the same, but the front bit will change. So basically, this one takes this little, this little battery, and it just plugs in. The little red light turns green, I think, when it's charging, and then it turns back to red when it's finished. And then you take the battery off, and lo and behold, this battery has a full charge, and this one. These were dead batteries. That was a dead camera because of the dead batteries. And for 20 quid, and these batteries can cost you 40 quid or higher if you buy the um, proper Sony ones. So if you, if you want to save yourself some money, buy this and rejuvenate your camera. So happy days for Sony and their stupid fucking charge technology.